My name is Lauren Prine and I'm the Education and Producers Relations Director at Texas Corn Producers. At Texas Corn Producers, my major role is ag education and outreach. In our office, we work together and we actually help each other um, to achieve the common goal of um, advocating for agriculture. So some of our roles sometimes overlap. The agricultural education projects that I'm working on are um, we're working on a scholarship for agricultural science teachers. We're also working on curriculum for all levels and then we're also working on elective curriculum. Um, another thing that we are working on is a scholarship for outgoing agricultural science teachers to help support them while they're doing their block or their, um, their block assignments. And we're also doing a, um, a program called Land which helps um, advocate for young farmers or teach them how to advocate and it's a weekend um, event and it's a really fun um, chance for people to network and learn a little bit better skills about how to adv advocate. Texas Corn Producers actually created a new role or changed their role a little bit to focus on agricultural education. Um, agricultural education is a major important part to what we do at Texas Corn Producers, but we've never really taken a stronghold and um, worked on curriculum or outreach in the education form. So Texas Corn Producers has actually reformulated uh, my role to work on curriculum so that we can educate the consumers or that we can also educate um, the unknown. I almost feel like most people have the basic knowledge about agriculture, but they really don't. And one of the statistics that people believe is that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. So one of our hurdles is to try and educate people at the beginning level of their life so that they can continue to be um, practical consumers because consumers really guide what we do at, on the farm. The advice I give on how to advocate for agriculture is to make a connection. I think when you go out to the grocery store and you find a mom that is there with her kids, if you can be relatable and talk in their language, you have the opportunity to get them to listen. So for example, if I'm a mother and I'm going to the grocery store and I, I run into a another mother, I educate them on, well, do you know that there's actually corn in Windex? Do you think Windex is safe? Well, yeah, of course. So GMOs are in corn that is in your Windex. So it's a better way to connect and educate them at the same time.